we are gonna get started cooking in just a minute but first off I don't know about you but I've had a pretty rough day and something we do with the kids whenever we come home and that they've been in the car too long or maybe they're just not focusing we always do this thing called get the wiggles out <laughs> So this, also, this is just something we do just to have fun and be funny and let them also move around and get all their wiggles out. So we are going to get the stress of the day out. So ready? Just start wiggling. Get all that stress out. Alright, you ready? Let's get cooking. Are you guys ready? I'm about to show you the most yummiest recipe ever. I've made this a few times now and I cannot get it enough times. But we are going to make bow tie chicken alfredo. All right, so here are the items you will need. You'll need a sparkly pumpkin. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. You will need two boneless chicken breasts, a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, kosher and black salt, and of course I like the fresh ground pepper because it's just awesome. One tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of olive oil, two garlic cloves, Oops, where are they? Two garlic cloves, they're so tiny, they're hard to see. You will need half a cup of dry white wine, half a cup of, it says low sodium chicken broth, but this is what I have open and I'll probably have to use half of the low sodium in that one. But anyways, half a cup of half and half, one fourth a cup of heavy whipping cream. You will need a cup of freshly grated parmesan I would not do the shredded I would do the grated that's only because that's all I have available right now on hand and you'll need bow tie noodles Whew, those are the best noodles and that's 12 ounces and you'll need two tablespoons of fresh minced parsley so again there's all the items you need Okay, so this is all the Pioneer Woman items you will need, minus, you know, my decorative ones. But anyways, I'll go over it. You need um, half a cup and one cup measuring, and then I also like to use these ones as like for like the liquid measure, measuring. So there's half a cup and one fourth cup, and then you'll need a tablespoon, and I prefer this spoon to mix my stuff, but of course you can pick any of her spoons you want to. And her flat whisk, her signature knife, and of course ramekins because I like to pre-measure everything. Her cutting board. Um, you can use her cast iron. However, I love this enamel skillet, so that's what I'm using. And then of course a pot to boil the noodles in, and then of course to drain the noodles. And you will also need a little bowl to um, put the chicken in. So that's my little bowl for that. But that is all the Pioneer Woman items you'll need for this recipe. All right, so now we are ready for the gross part. Let me, whoopsie. I'm gonna scooch it down so you can see. But um, I might be a weird one, but I do not like all the gross stuff off the chicken, like the fat and all that. So that's the first thing I do is cut, well, yeah, like see all that? Uh, I don't need that. <laughs> so. I just cut off kind of like the gross parts of the chicken and then we're going to slice it into strips. All right, so for now, for more grossness, <laughs> we are going to toss in the Italian seasoning and I'm just gonna kind of sh shake it in as I'm moving the chicken around or else you might just get one big clump in everything. There we go or on your hand. <laughs> so we got that all good and seasoned and then now we're gonna add the salt and do the same thing. Kinda coat that chicken and then the fresh ground pepper. And then we are just going to leave the chicken aside for now and wash my hands. Now I've got the olive oil and the butter in the dip pan right now and I've got it set to medium and I've got my chicken ready to go in and a plate to the side ready to put the chicken on once it's done cooking. And then once the chicken has kind of started cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start boiling my water for my noodles. So this is looking pretty good and melted. So I'm going to add our chicken in. And I don't know about um, some of y'all stoves, but sometimes this takes a while to just brown all the sides. It's hard to say like how long exactly it's going to be, but 
we'll just have to see how this goes because it also depends on like how thin you slice your strips in as well but we are going to try to see if six to seven minutes work for each side the first side's going to take a little bit longer just because it's not quite heated up just yet all right so like i said we're just going to let these cook for about six to seven minutes hopefully on each side and they'll be done all right, so our chicken is looking good and my water is boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the noodles in and probably flip those chickens one more time. So since I don't have like all night, that's about as brown as I'm gonna let the chicken get and I've already got some over here. And then we're gonna get started on the next step. All right, so since the chicken is done, I'm going to stir in the garlic. And what I like to do is just get it in my hand first, even though I have it in nice little cup here I'm going to get it in my hand first and then that way I can just dump it in and stir at the same time and not have any of it stuck on the bowl so we're going to go ahead and start getting all the yummy goodness scraped on the bottom we're going to stir in this garlic for about 30 seconds and then I'm going to add in the white wine oh I wish y'all could smell it it smells so good and the finished product is so good it is so worth everything it takes to make this. And really the chicken's the only part that really takes the longest. All right, so we got the garlic good and cooked in there and we're going to add in the white wine first. And then we're going to add in the chicken broth. And then we're just gonna let that simmer and bubble up and reduce a little bit for about two to three minutes. All right, so this part is looking good. I don't know if you can tell, but the, there's a little ring over there and you can tell that it's gone down and I'd say that's about half. So now we're going to add in the creams. So now we're going to add in the half and half. Oh yeah, get that creamy goodness going on. And then we're going to add in the cream. And I'm gonna give that a good little stirring here. I don't like to waste any of the little drops, because <laughs> you can't tell. So get that good and mixed in. And our noodles are almost done too. So it almost ends at like the perfect time if you just wait for you to start the chicken and flip them and then start the noodles. All right, so now we're going to add in the one cup of Parmesan cheese. Give that a good little stirring. And I'm going to continue to let that heat up because like I said, I had the shredded cheese and it's just not as good if you have like the clumps in there. So I'm gonna let my cheese melt here a little bit while I'm going to focus on the noodles here in a minute. All right, so I just strained the noodles and I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do with this butter here. I take some butter and just clump it in there and I give it a stirring so then that way when my sauce is done, the noodles will still kind of work with me and, and not be so clumped together and make it a little harder to mix everything together. So that's just my little trick I do and it doesn't hurt. Butter doesn't hurt anything as far as food goes. So now that my cheese is good and melted, oh yes, then I'm going to add the noodles in. See how easy they are to stir around when you add the butter? Normally, if you wouldn't have added the butter, they would have been all clumped together and hard to mix around and all the cheesy goodness. So we're gonna give it a good little tossing and then we are going to add in the chicken here. Oop. And of course the grease from the chicken doesn't hurt either. So we're gonna mix that around and of course I cut up my chicken um, just because I have kids eating it. So normally I would cut it up a little bit smaller than this right at this time. And then we're going to add on 
the fresh Parmesan. Parmesan. <laughs> the fresh parsley. So sorry. I told y'all it's been one of those days. So this is the finished product. Doesn't it look oh so yummy? So I better call everybody down and let's get eating. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you make it and enjoy it because it is very yummy and in my opinion pretty easy to make. But if you haven't already, go check out our other videos and click that subscribe button and we'll see you later. Bye.